It has been called a renaissance. The idea, if you build it, they will come. And if you ask local leaders, they have. Toledo has seen significant investment and development, but it's been mainly along Summit Street or in the Warehouse District. Now, another part of downtown is primed for something new. This is by far one of the most important projects to further downtown Toledo momentum. That project involves this intersection, Madison and North Huron, better known as Four Corners. This is the only intersection in downtown Toledo where the four buildings still remain. When you think about that, the importance of this historic architecture, what this means to be at the epicenter of our central business district, and all three of these buildings are completely vacant. To bring them online is going to have such a catalytic impact. City of Toledo Director of Economic Development Brandon Selhorse says the first step to bringing them online is finding the right developers. The city and the Lucas County Land Bank work together to get here. Now, the aim is to turn these long vacant buildings from eyesore to something more. Bringing these buildings back to life is tremendously important for the downtown. Not only do the buildings come back to life, but they bring people back to our downtown. Land Bank President and CEO David Mann says a feasibility study found that people are looking for somewhere to live downtown, but there aren't enough apartments to meet the demand. And the city says more office space isn't the answer. We've got over 2 million square feet of vacant office space. That's equivalent to uh, the size of Franklin Park Mall just being completely vacant in our downtown. So they're looking for the right project to give people somewhere to live and businesses to bring in more people. First floor arcades, retail, restaurants, commerce, all of those things will be great for downtown Toledo. All in all, the hope is to fuel the spark of the Glass City's growth. But that corner has suffered for a while, but just like Toledo, even though Toledo has gone through some hard times, we are turning the corner. We are uh, ready to sort of have a new renaissance. And to help some of Toledo's original skyscrapers weather the test of time. Now the city says this is one of three vital projects to rejuvenating downtown, the other two being the Glass City Riverwalk and the Jefferson Building, which will house tech company Bitwise. We should learn more specific details on plans for the Nicholas and the Spitzer come September.